Skippy John Jones and the Big Bones. Skippy John Jones was crazy about digging in Miss Mo Dolly Doohickey's garden. Because that's where Mrs. Dolly Doohickey's dog, Darwin, buried all of his bones. And nobody messed with Darwin. Two yards away, Mama Junebug Jones was hanging wash when her kitty boy blew through the sheets like a muddy wind. Hey, Kip Pickle Pants, hollered Mama, don't run with your mouth full. But Pickle Pants had only one thing on his mind. Dinosaurs! I'm going to be a famous paleontologist, whispered Skippy John Jones, arriving at his room. Then he popped a pickle in his puss, he slapped some glue all over his newfound bone, and stuck it onto his model. And you are my Skipposaurus, he added out loud. Skipposaurus, declared Mama Junebug Jones, coming into the room. Those bones belong to Darwin, and you'd better take them back, for your prehistoric fossil is that snoozing doggy snack. And do it now, ordered Mama, before he wakes up. But the kitty boy had no intention of returning Darwin's bones before he bounced on his big boy bed. First he pounced and wiggled, then he bounced and giggled. All the way up to the ceiling he chanted, Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed because I love to eat pickles that tickle my head. Then he flung himself over to the mirror for a head check. Holy hairballs, exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling out his tape measure. That's one huge cabeza. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he added, My ears are too big for my head and my head won't fit into my bed. I know I'm not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. And quicker than you can say chunky chihuahuas and cream, the kitty boy picked up his cape and pulled on his mask. Then he began to sing in a mooly soft voice, Oh, my name is Kipito Frisquito, and I hunt for the dinosaurito with gigantico ears that's been buried for years under layers of sedimentito. At the same time, the kitty boy's sisters... Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were in Mrs. Doohiggy's yard watching Darwin sleep. This is fun, said Jezebel. Lots of fun, agreed Jilly Boo. The most is fun, added Jujubee. But Skippy John wasn't thinking Darwin. He was thinking dinosaurs, and he knew where to find them, deep within his closet. Whoa, said Skippito, it's a jungle in here. But as soon as he stepped over the threshold, his snifferito picked up the scent of his old amigos, Las Chimichangos! Stinkitos! Called out Skippy John Jones. I smell you, but I don't see you. It is I, El Skippito Frisquito, the great sword fighter. Up here, Skippito, hollered the Chihuahuas. We are toasting Los Marshmallowsitos Prehistoricos. Not the prehistoric marshmallows, exclaimed Skippito. See, sí, dude, replied the doggies, but they are as hard as rocas. That's because they are fossilitos, said Skippito. Fossilitos schmasolitos, declared Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We want to see los dinosaurios with our own ojos, he said, pointing to his eyes. Por qué? asked Skippito. Because, Bobocito, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. We hear they are really, really big, dude. This news made the Chihuahuas go insano around the rim of the volcano, singing, Ding-a-ling, ding-a-dong, ling a lito you are such a silly Skippito. You know what dogs think. If it's good, it must stink. Plus, it's great for the old Snifferito. <coughs> but right in the middle of their romp, Mount Itchy Gitchy Goomba blew its top, tossing the doggies right on their rumpitos. But a bump on the rump would become the least of their worries, because boom, 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 the earth began to tremble and shake. Tremorito, shouted Poquito Tito, the panic stricken. It's not an earthquake, Ito, he said, peeking through the bushes. It's I, T Mexito. <coughs> and he wasn't the only dinosaurio. There were big ones and small ones, feathered and bald ones. Some were spiky and frilled with a look that could kill. And they were all doing the same thing. They were dancing. Ay, caramba, it's the rumba, cheered the chimichangos. And before Scapito could warn them, the rascalitos had shimmied and shook their way into the dance line. This is loco, wailed Scapito. You will be crushed like crispitos beneath the dinos tostitos. But the pupitos did not hear. They were too busy singing. Itchy gitchy goomba, dinos do the roomba with jumbo jaws and giant claws with horns and beaks and scaly peaks. Itchy gitchy goomba, chimichangos do the roomba. With great big hearts and tiny parts with knobby needs and lots of fleas, itchy gitchy goomba. But something had to be done to save them, and quicker than you can say, Pacacephalorosus, Scapito let out a big Jurassic bark. 
<coughs> Holy halitosis, roared the tea mexito. I smell the pickle breath of a skipposaurusito. I am not a skipposaurus, declared, uh, declared Skipito, whipping off his mask. I'm a chihuahua. Not the pillow-fighting, ankle-biting, pickle-dripping, dino-tripping chihuahua they call El Scapito Frisquito, the great sword fighter, shrieked the Team Mexito. Oh, see, that is me, said Scapito with a bow. Then quicker than you can say Don Diego's dominoes, every dinosaurio stopped and dropped and rolled far away. Where's the fuego, dudes, asked Poquito Tito. There's no fire, said Scapito. They're just going extincto. Muy bueno, Skipito, we love the stinkito, agreed the chihuahuas, and they tossed him into the air. Didgeri, didgeri, didgeriito, we learned something new from Skipito. He scares them to death with his old pickle breath, and that's how we get fasolitos. Then all of a sudden, boom, 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 the earth began to tremble and shake. Every head popped up and sniffed. Dinosaurios, whispered the perritos. No, said Skipito, they are extincto. Si, sí, said the chihuahuas. It's muy stinkito. It wasn't the dinosaurios that's, that they smelled. It was Darwin, and he was knock, knock, knocking on Skippy's closet door. Then click, the door opened, and out tumbled the kitty boy on an avalanche of old dog bones. The next thing he knew, the kitty boy was waking up on the couch. What happened? asked Skippy John. Don't you remember, Sugar Bee? asked Mama Junebug Jones. You decided to return Darwin's dog bones. All of them? said Skippy. That's right, Dumplin' said Mama proudly. That very same night, the kitty boy found Mr. Perfect still sitting on the corner, covered in bones. My Skipposaurus, he whispered. Then he dragged the cat over to his big boy bed for a good night bounce. Oh, I am Skippy John Jones, and I'm not a dog fighter, but I still have some bones, because I'm the decider. Then he decided to go to sleep. The end.